Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna do a favorites video today, right now, and I'm gonna hop in with the guys in my hand. Uh, these are a couple of complexion products, actually like a, a duo I've been really into lately. I've been attempting to shop my stash more, just in general, trying to like use up things, especially cream products. And I was reminded that I had this. This is the CLE CCC Cream Radiant Skin CCC Cream by CLE. The, the CLE was like in like an embossed gold and that has uh, worn away. Um, but uh, yeah, I pulled this guy out. This like BB Cream Foundation. I've had it for, you know, it's probably long expired, but it, it still looks quite well. And uh, pairing with the glossier future do they came out with a few months ago uh already probably old news in in the world of glossier releases but definitely like a very very dewy skin um creation guy it's like a mix between being makeup and skincare it goes on after sunscreen but like before primer or foundation i don't really do much priming when I use this and I also keep my moisture kind of thinner not quite as heavy when I wear this because it is it is quite um uh you know it's it's a little bit thick but you can really sheer it out and uh, it does it creates a very beautiful kind of glass dewy skin effect paired with this I really like the way my skin looks I'm wearing both of these together right now with like a you know a mix of a million other products it's probably changing the finish, but uh, this, the CCC cream um, from CLE is kind of like, more of like a satin finish. It's, it's not like particularly like super dewy and it is like way more full coverage than um, you would think. It's kind of, it's a little bit similar I'd say in coverage to like the it cosmetics cc cream which that is actually like leaning towards like a medium to almost full coverage at least i feel like but with still having a very like moisturizing and creamy finish like this still feels very creamy and it doesn't particularly feel dry but it doesn't look overtly dewy um there's like the new the new like skin trend you know it was like last year it was all about glass skin and then you know before that there was like dewy skin there's always like different like marketing terms for like finishes and this this year i've been seeing lots of things lately being marketed as cream cream skin you know there's various products already out there and it's like a finish that isn't particularly like it's not satin um but it's not dewy and uh, I feel like this is a, a good example of like what I feel like cream skin looks like, just creamy. I don't, I don't know. So, so silly, but I've enjoyed this so much. It's one of those products that like comes out like white or like a certain color and it has like those micro spheres that like as you work on, uh, it uh, works on to the skin and creates coverage and it's funny how long I've had this I still get so surprised by the coverage like even today when I like took some out just like a tiny little dab of it it was like oh just like a little bit uh, and it was still like way more coverage than I anticipated uh, it's like I like memory wipe myself or something every time I go in to use this but anyways I've been really loving this combo so um, this has been out for a few months this has been out for a few years lovely um very very nice definitely attempting to shop my stash because i have lots of stuff and you know the economy right now carrying on ooh, carrying on with the whole shopping my stash i've been trying to rotate more of my cream products um i do have quite a few cream blushes i think it's like the besides cream eyeshadows i feel like cream eye cream blushes are something i have quite a bit of um comparative to like cream highlighters or bronzers, which I definitely go through faster. Lots of information you don't need. Anyways, two cream blushes I've been rotating between. I've been very into pinks. Uh, as you can tell, I got some pink action going on on my eyes, my lips, and my cheeks. I've been very into this whole springtime pinks, all pink face. 
uh, pinks and reds, draped pinks, pink toned uh, highlighters mixed in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm actually wearing both of these and I've had both of these for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> this is the RMS Beauty Vogue Rose Lip to Cheek. This came in the Vogue Birch Box collab from a hot minute ago. Like I did a blog post on it. So it's like that old, like I haven't done anything on my blog in ages. Anyways, it's a really pretty soft corally pink and uh, very vibrant and it really like drapes well. Um, and it's like creamy, but not like overtly, overtly dewy. Uh, and then this is from Lila B. This is one of their lip and cheek combo and it is in the shade Be True. Um, I think this has gotten a little bit drier since I've had this for quite some time at this point, but it's still, still is quite beautiful. Uh, it's a little bit more matte uh, and a little bit thicker than I had remembered it, but it still blends quite beautifully. Uh, it has been quite cold <laughs> lately, you know, even though I'm in California, so it's still warmer than the majority of the country at this moment, but uh, it just has to like, I need to like warm it up on my fingers a little bit to like get it to blend and it does that. I have a tiny bit of it mixed in with my lipstick, which I will get to. Really love Lila B's products, except these need to be refillable. You know, the, the whole industry is kind of like moving towards having like sustainable packaging. Uh, and honestly, I feel like the most sustainable type of packaging is refillable. Um, and uh, it's, like these are so heavy, you know, anyways. Thoughts for another time. Maybe one day I'll do Lauren's thoughts on every beauty related thing. Let's stick to cheeks. Um, now getting into some newer items. This is from Ritual Defeat. It is the Rare Light Illuminizer in Solaris. New to me. They've had this out for, for some time now. They do this thing called Moon Drop where they do like specials, special releases, colors and things like that, like once a month. It's on like a Monday and long story short, one of them recently was like this big sale. I picked up a bunch of things. They sent me a sample, like a little mini sample of the Solaris highlighter. Never had this on my radar to try from them. I hit pan on that highlighter and it's like a generous, uh, it's a it's a pretty generous portion and I was like I just I love this this is like almost gone I'm like beginning to ration it so I, I got the full size and it is it is so beautiful it's like it shifts between like this beautiful iridescent like pearly pink and yellow and gold it's so pretty I have it I'll just get like super close I'm not sure if my camera will focus because it's very old at this point um but let's see if it's i'm not sure if my camera's picking that up but i'm also not wearing glasses so who knows what i can actually see at this point but i have this draped going up mixed in just kind of dotted it all over so pretty i love this I love Ritual Defeat. They make such unique products. And uh, like I said, I picked up a bunch of things from them probably a month, maybe two months ago. I'm not entirely sure, probably two months ago when they had this like, they had this sale where they were greatly reduced products that were like the product themselves were still good, but like packaging was defective or like labeling or something. Something about it just like didn't meet the standards for for like being full price and I just I don't exactly know uh, what some of the defects were like some of them like the labels like maybe are like a little off on some of the eye soots but anyways uh, I got lots of things from that sale and one of them I love them all because I love that brand but the other one that I will talk about in this video is one of the uh, Enchanted Lip Shears. This is in Rue. Just reapply. Now this is one of the lip shears, but it still packs quite a bit of a punch. I feel like the a lot of the their lip shears still have like a lot of uh, pigment to them, even though it says sheer. It's just versus like the Forbidden lipsticks, which are quite 
matte. So I actually end up like layering them sometimes together. But this guy, I do have a little bit of this mixed in because it's quite moisturizing and it will like move a bit. So you need like something to like stop it. Beautiful, beautiful punchy pink. Uh, I've been wearing this a lot and then also I didn't pull it for this video, but Kosas in Royal. And then also lip-wise, I've really been enjoying these variety of lip pencils from Kiko. I'm wearing this one, the Comfort Lip Crayon in 303. I'm wearing this one right now, and then I have a couple other colors. This one's like a little bit more of like a nice kind of mauve shade, and then this is a good brown, nude tone. So actually, they're all kind of... Well, actually these two are like on a really good kind of nude spectrum um, I got this one to like as like a trying to get a dupe for Marc Jacobs Primrose because that's a lip liner I use quite a bit so I wanted like a another sort of affordable guy in the mix and I really I really enjoyed this a lot of Kiko products actually they're not that accessible here there is a store I think there is a couple of stores in the Los Angeles area. There's one I know on Hollywood Boulevard, but that's never gonna go there. <laughs> um, granted, it's it's closed right now, as everything is. But even when um, the the world hasn't stopped, that is a is a horrible place to go. It's just a very chaotic. But when I I was in Spain during uh, December, I went to Spain for a couple of weeks, and there were just Kikos all over, and I. Uh, I, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I ended up picking up quite a few things from, from Kiko. So uh, maybe I'll do like a roundup haul video of all the things I picked up. Granted, it was, you know, December, mid-December, so it's not like new stuff, but I have pretty much tried everything by now, so I can like give thoughts on that. Um, yeah. So these I also picked up when I was in Spain. It's from this brand called War Paint. They're a UK based brand and I've seen them kind of pop up a little bit in some random beauty supply stores here in the States. And I saw on like um, some beauty news website that I check in that they're like making a, a push to be in the States. So I believe they're a drugstore brand. These were really inexpensive and I, I scooped them up. I think there's a couple more shades in this line. So this is called the Disco Diamonds Duo Chrome Dazzlers and I love, I love duo chromes. I love sparkly things. But these are just absolutely beautiful. There's several different colors. So these are absolutely beautiful. Love duo chromes. Um, I really want to try some of Cleona Cosmetics duo chromes and trichromes and all of her, uh, all of their beautiful stuff, but very expensive. One of these days I will, I will try them. If you've tried Cleona Cosmetics duo chromes, let me know. Are they, are they everything they're cracked up to be? People seem to just go apeshit for them. They're, there's people, yeah, they're like a cult favorite at this point. And then also speaking of beautiful glitter, these are the PYT Glam Glitter Gels. These, I think they're like multi, they're multi-use. They look like they're gonna be lip glosses, but they can be used on the eyes. This gold one, so pretty. I got this one back in December, and then a month ago I picked up the pink one, and they have one more that's like an iridescent. I went to like apply a little bit more for this video, and, uh, cause I already have it all over my eyes, but the, between the time of getting ready and then wanting to do a touch up, the doe foot broke, which sucks, but I can still get product out with a brush. But these are absolutely beautiful. They dry down. They're not like anything that like stays wet. And they will have like a little bit of like fallout if you really blend, you know, it will start to like pop off, but it's not excessive. And they're just absolutely beautiful. They're not overtly drying like a lot of glitter and just liquid eyeshadows can be and yeah they're so pretty lastly makeup wise this i actually is from shopping my stash this is the mark jacobs fantasine iconic eye palette this is so now i don't know why i very like strung that out but this came out a couple years ago and i i picked it up and i really liked it but then i just 
quickly just fell out of the the mood for this because it went straight into like fall time by the time I picked this up and although this is from a couple of years ago I feel like this is one of those good examples of like an old product that is like more in old product new trend where it's just like pinks you have a couple of duo chromes you have like a bit of like a bit of cool tone but you still have some warmth coral pop very very pretty love this i have this guy and this guy used to like blend uh, a bit and a tiny bit of this in the very far corner eye part for some depth very pretty love these Marc Jacobs palettes, quite, quite nice. I was gonna actually do skincare and some hair care in this video, but my voice is getting really hoarse and um, my battery is about to die. So I'm gonna break this up and I'll do another one. And yeah, guys, I hope you all have been really well. I don't really have much going on right now. Um, so I'll be making a bunch of videos and I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. And what have you been doing with your time? Have you still been putting on makeup? Have you been shopping your stash? Have you been like working on stuff? I like oscillate between days of no makeup and uh, pajama pants and like barely brushing my teeth to like, you know, glitter eyeshadow and pink and like I put on like a nice, a nice blouse that I would normally wear uh, out into the world. All right, I'm gonna wrap that up here. Hope you're well.